Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be grilling a ribeye steak and a steak known as the Kansas City Cut Steak on this really cool portable grill. Stay tuned. So here's this really cool portable grill. It does come inside this canvas bag and it is from Life Do. So I'm gonna assemble this so you guys can see how simple it is to assemble. So if I had a guess on the weight, it probably weighs 10 to 15 pounds. So let me move this bag out of the way here. All right, so here's the top grill, great. Here are the side panels. Here's the charcoal grate. And you do have this tray to catch your ashes, okay? So I'm gonna move the side panel out of the way. All right, so here's one of the side panels and I found it easiest to lay one of these side panels on its side right on top of that ash tray. We're gonna put it on this outer notch. Okay, and just push in. Look how easy this thing is to assemble. I'm gonna grab the other side and do the same thing. Okay. All right, so here's our other outer panel. Just put it on the top notch right here, just like that. And at the same time, you do the other side. And again, it's pretty simple to get done. Uh, there we go, right there. Okay, so at this point, just lift the grill. All right, so for the next step, you're gonna grab your little charcoal grate. It's got a few holes here on the bottom. Just guide it in there and it sits right inside the holes. Really sturdy, okay? Then you have these three rods to hold your top grate. So I'm just putting one on the outside, one in the middle, and one on the outer side. All right, so here's our top grate. Just goes right on the top just like that. Okay, so this grill is fully assembled. You can tell it only took a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna remove the top grate. I'm gonna grab my charcoal. All right, so the charcoal that I'm using today is from Jealous Devil. Now, because we don't have a really deep grill, you really don't need a whole lot of charcoal, or in this case, lump charcoal. So I'm just gonna grab a few pieces. Try to grab the smaller ones of the bag. Now this charcoal does have some really big chunks, but there's some smaller pieces in there as well. All right, so I've got my charcoal loaded up on my portable grill. I've got my grill gun right here. Just gonna turn it on, pull the trigger and light it up. All right, so we're gonna give the coals about 15 to 20 minutes just to ash over. I'm gonna go ahead and put our grate on the top just like that and move this aside. I'm gonna go grab the steaks and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so here are the two steaks that I'm gonna be cooking today. These came from E3 Meat Company. I gotta tell you, if you guys haven't checked them out, please do. They're big supporters of our military and they got such an amazing story on how that company got started. So this is a ribeye steak and this steak is about an inch thick. Really nice marbling. Look at that, really nice looking ribeye. And here's our Kansas City strip steak. Now you guys may have heard this called a New York strip steak, same thing, but because E3 Meat Company is up in Kansas, they're calling this the KC strip steak. And it's really good flavor, really nice and beefy flavor as well. So I'm just gonna take this out of the package. All right, so let's season these steaks. The ribeye I'm gonna season with this Uncle Steve shake. This is his smoke bomb. It's got such an amazing flavor and a really nice red color, which you guys will see. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna give this steak a really good flavor. So this rub I think will be good on just about anything beef. And I can't wait to try it on a brisket. It's got such an amazing flavor as I mentioned. Grab the edges, just like that. All right, so for the strip steak, I'm using this prime time seasoning from PS Seasoning. 
This has an amazing flavor as well. Really good beefy flavor and also a buttery flavor on the seasoning, okay? Make sure you season your edges as well. Look at this. Season that fat cap as well. Oh yes. Pick up all that extra rub. All right, our grill is almost ready. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so our grill is ready and our coals are nice and ashed over. So here's the ribeye steak. Look at that. So one piece of advice, do not use this grill on a plastic table. I am using a metal table. Even though you do have this ashtray down here, it gets pretty hot, okay? So just be careful. So here's our Kansas City strip steak. Oh yes. I'm gonna let these steaks cook for a little bit. I'll bring you guys back as soon as I flip them. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these steaks. Oh my goodness. I can see myself camping with this grill, cooking some nice steaks like these. I'm gonna be grilling these steaks to an internal temperature of 135 degrees. I'll bring you guys back as soon as it hits that temperature. Stay tuned. All right, so these steaks are ready and the total cook time was only about 15 minutes. But before I get to the steaks, I wanna show you these brand new steak knives that I received from Dow Strong. Look at these bad boys right here, okay? I've always wanted a steak knife block like this, and I finally got one. And these knives are absolutely gorgeous, really nice and big as well, which I absolutely like for a steak knife, not like those real thin, cheap steak knives. These steak knives do come with a 120-day money-back guarantee. In fact, all of Dell Strong's products do come with a 120-day money-back guarantee, including the freight if for some reason you're not happy with them, and I highly recommend these steak knives right here. All right, so let's cut into these steaks. All right, so the steaks have been resting for about 10 minutes. Let's cut into this KC strip steak. Oh man, I'm using my brand new steak knives from Dow Strong. You can see how sharp this knife is right here. Look at that. Like butter. Look at that, nice medium rare right there. Just the way my daughter and I love it. All right, so that steak looks absolutely delicious. Now let's cut into our ribeye. Oh my goodness, these knives are extremely sharp. Look at that, nice medium rare as well, really nice and juicy. Get out of here, fly, before I slice you in half. All right, let's give these steaks a try and see how we did. All right, let's dig into these steaks, but before I do that, I gotta tell you this grill from Life Do is extremely hot still, and one of the things that I'm most impressed with is that it has not warped. A lot of the cheap portable grills that are out there kind of warp the very first time you use it, and this thing is holding up, so let's try this Kansas City strip steak first again from e3 meat company there we go mm, mm, mm. i cannot believe how tender and juicy that kc strip steak from e3 meat company is really good flavor that jealous devil charcoal really left a nice flavor on the surface as well as this prime time seasoning so now let's give our ribeye a try oh yeah this piece is nice and medium rare. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So that steak right there is extremely tender and juicy as well. But I gotta tell you, the ribeye is king of steaks to me anyway. Not to take anything away from this KC strip steak because that is really good, but ribeye steaks are the choice for me. And I gotta tell you, this Uncle Steve shake, smoke bomb, it is extremely delicious on this steak. Not only did it give it a nice color, but it also has a really good flavor and also gives you a little bit of heat towards the end. So all in all, I gotta tell you, this cook was a home run. And if you read the E3 meat story, you're gonna know where that home run phrase came from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If this is your first time here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, ask them down below. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.